Hey everybody, we're back to uh, go ahead and take apart the uh, LCD, the screen assembly on this phone, this Nokia Lumia Icon. This is actually a 930. Uh, there is no difference between the 929 and the 930. Uh, I've disassembled them both and they are exactly the same. Uh, we're just going to use our heat gun here to heat up the LCD. Got a couple of plastic guitar picks there and I'm going to use a suction cup to hopefully pry this screen away. Um, this screen has a small fracture or crack in the bottom left hand corner, um, but I want to keep it and see if uh, I can't use it um, in a future or maybe just do a glass only replacement on it so as parts become available or I can find a mold for the uh, glue or for the, the LCD and the glass. So we're just going to heat up the sides, get it nice and warm all the way around. Um, this should be a standard a replacement for an LCD. I think this has an OLED screen on it um, so nothing too crazy. It should be fairly similar to like a Galaxy S3 or or something of that nature. I'm just going to go around the edges and get it nice and warm. You can use an infrared thermometer if you want to, uh, if you're a little bit worried about uh, overheating the LCD. This one's cracked, so I'm not extremely worried about it. Um, I do have a complete replacement assembly for it. I'm just going to put a glove on. This makes it a little bit easier to handle the phone. Put my suction cup onto the screen here. I'm just going to try to pull it back just a little bit to gain access in between the glass and the bezel. I'm going to try to get it a little bit closer to the corner here. See if I can't get this to pull back. And this is a, a just a cheap tile suction cup I got off eBay for like three bucks. Uh, so if you're looking for a, a suction cup that'll function properly for you, these a little clamp tile suction cups work pretty good. Getting a little bit of separation here. Just use my hand to kind of hold it apart and see if we can't get a guitar pick in here and get it started. Perfect. That'll go ahead and hold the glass away from the metal frame. I don't want to uh, use a metal tool on this just because it's it's a brand new phone. Um, it doesn't really have any issues along the sides of the uh, bezel. Uh, being a silver, I don't want to show any scratches on the, the sides of it as well. So let's use these guitar picks as much as I can. You can use other plastic tools, the pry tools, or playing cards, or anything like that. These are just handy for me. Cool down a little bit, so we're just going to heat it up and go around the sides again. See if we can't get it to, uh, warm enough that we can remove some of the adhesive. want to make sure we make it nice and easy to remove. Uh, that way we don't fracture any of the glass or the screen as we're trying to remove it. Put our suction cup back on, just get a little bit more space working for us up here at the top. Let's take our guitar pick and we're just going to slide it down across the top. Let's put a couple, one more in here so we can't uh, make sure that this is nice and separate. It's going through and kind of twisting it back and forth to make sure it gets nice and cut. Work it down the sides. Now you want to be careful when you hit the corners. Um, you don't want to dip too far and you don't want to nick the LCD behind it or the LED behind it. Uh, you can see we've got some good separation here now. Doesn't want to really keep my guitar pick in there anymore. I'm going to take our pick and just move it down the bottom here so we can't get it to uh, make it around the corner. Try to use a thicker pick to get it to stay in here. I just don't want that to re-adhere itself back to the frame. Use a little bit more heat. Make sure you get it up to the temperature you want it to to get removed. It's working down the sides in the corner. A lot of adhesive down here where the home button, the back button, the search button are at, so we're just going to get that nice and warm. And the nice thing about having the suction cup is it gives you good leverage or a place to hold when you're doing this stuff. Just kind of pull it back, get some separation. Let's 
just kind of using the guitar pick to go through and cut the adhesive just a little bit. Got a crack down here. You can see that the glue is starting to separate from the glass there. Um, basically because of the temperature. After about 180 degrees, um, it definitely starts to separate itself. So using the suction cup just to pull the LCD away, being nice and gentle. Now I'm not using a lot of force here. I'm taking my time as I remove it. You can see there a glass piece fell out right here where it was cracked. Next step is just to go through and remove all the adhesive off of the mid frame. Make sure all the little bits are nice and removed. Just use your pry tool to go down the sides. See, here's our LCD where the, the where it was cracked on the side. The connector kind of looks like behind it. Nice and thin. Just work my way around and clean this up nice. Make sure all the adhesive and glass residue is removed. Anything that would make the LCD uh, stand off from the mid frame, I want to make sure is removed so we get a nice even fit. You can see right here. I actually melted the speaker grill. It's actually a nylon cover. I thought it was going to be a metal piece. It's actually a nylon piece. So you got to be really careful um, when you're heating it up. You might want to use some captain tape or some packing tape to put over that portion of the LCD that slid across the top. Here's our new one that we're going to be using. See right here is where I melted it. Just a little too much heat across the top. It's got a little foam backing behind it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually just use some replacement speaker mesh that I have. This stuff right here, I'll go ahead and just re replace it. Just also nylon as well. So I have a couple different sizes of 3M adhesive tape. I have a 5mm, a 3mm, and a 1mm that we'll be using for this. I'm just going to use the nice thick 5mm down here at the bottom of the phone. And the top of the phone, since there's so much area to cover, let's put it down and we need to cut it to fit. The nice thing about this is it is pretty square, uh, so you don't have to worry about the corners a ton. You just want to make sure that you get as much into those corners as possible. I like to use a dental pick or uh, one of these. This is actually an automotive tool I got from Harbor Freight. Um, you can use this as well. It's a great tool to use to push down the tape edges. Make sure it's nice and flush. You don't want to cover any holes. You don't want to cover the hole in the middle where the window button icon will flash. You don't want to go into where the uh, into, into the middle of the midframe is where the LCD will sit. Um, or else you might get some, some pressure backlighting. So you want to be careful with that as well. Start across the top up here as well. Let's go ahead and cut this piece of tape flat. And work our same way across the top, making sure not to cover up the headphone or the uh, earpiece speaker. On the opposite side, making sure not to cover up the sensor port or the front facing camera. So use a thinner piece up here at the top. Use some of this two millimeter tape, it'll make it a little bit easier. You want to make sure you get the nice sticky stuff. If you've had some on the roll for a while, you might want to cut it away. So right here, we're going to go across the top, making sure not to cover up any of the ports. So we'll stop just shy of the front-facing camera.
It's a little long, so we're just going to trim it to make sure it doesn't actually enter into the LCD area. So we have some thinner one millimeter tape that I'll use down the sides. Just go right down the side, making sure not to overlap the tape pieces. Get it right in the corner, make sure that all of the, as much surface area has adhesive on it as possible. That way you get a nice, nice snug, adhered fit to the foam. And down this side as well. I'm just going to try to cover up a little bit more of the places here, right across the bottom of the earpiece speaker into the front facing camera. Places where we didn't have a lot of adhesive on it. This will also give us a good area for our new uh, speaker mesh we're going to be putting on. Try to cover up all the little gaps that um, we can get a little extra adhesion in the surface of the display mounting area. So here's our little piece of speaker mesh that I've cut to fit. Just make sure it fits in place. Little spot down here that I can put just a little bit more of this tape on. little spot down here to fill in the gap.
All right, we're looking good. Lots of adhesive on there. We're going to get a nice snug fit. Going to go ahead and start removing the backing off all the additional pieces of tape. Make sure none of the pieces of tape ripple or pull up. Uh, if you get any ripples in it, it might actually make your screen stand off a little bit. So make sure you take your time and only pull up the corners. Only a few more pieces to go. We can go ahead and lay down our first new LCD on this device. All right, our next step is to make sure we put on our speaker mesh here. Look like it's a little bit long, so we can't cut it. Oh, and I just frayed it, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna cut out a new piece here real fast. Make sure it's nice and square and the correct length. It's a little long, so I'm just going to trim it to fit here real fast. It doesn't cut really nice, unfortunately. This one looks a lot better than the last piece though. Just laying it on top of the adhesive that I already put down. We have our new screen. Make sure we remove all of the tape from the backing here. Anything that's covering the cameras, the bottom, the back of the screen, any of that stuff will need to be removed. Careful of the ribbon cable for the connection. All right, let's need to make sure we put the connector through the slot within the midframe. We can go ahead and start laying it down. Now, this LCD fits right snug into the midframe, so you can't really mess up the fit. So you just want to make sure you push it in, make sure all the corners are in nice and snug, then you can press down on all sides. It's a little snug up here at the top because of the speaker grill insert that I put in. If you need to, you can put a little extra adhesive. Um, you can use a silicone glue or something of that sort. Uh, you know, normally if you just hold it down for a few seconds, you'll get the fit that you're looking for. Sometimes the tape just takes a second to adhere. Thanks for watching you guys. Hit the link for the next one.